Hello everybody, welcome to Flannery Genealogy Videos. My name is Brian Flannery and today we're going to divert a little bit onto my mother's side with the Campbell family and I want to try to preserve a little bit of that also um, as I go through doing genealogy this winter. Uh, this picture that you're seeing on your screen is the James Campbell family and we'll, I'll give you tell you who everybody is. Um, in the back row to the left, starting from left to right, is Millard Campbell, and then Thomas Campbell has got the hat on, and then Johnny Campbell, and then there's a woman holding a little boy, and that little boy is Roscoe Campbell, uh, which is Johnny's son, Then the lady holding Roscoe is Johnny's wife, Ethel, uh, Ethel, she was an Adams Campbell, and then Martha on the very end, Martha Campbell. Now sitting down on the front row is James Campbell. And then kind of right behind him is uh, Lila Campbell. She married a Sayers. Then Susie. And then the little boy with, he's got a medallion around his neck or something, uh, is Howard Campbell. And then their mother, Sarah Sally young campbell so the today i want to just basically discuss a little bit about jim campbell um the man there in the middle and sitting down uh, he would be my great great grandfather on my mother's side uh, i want to tell you a few stories that has been passed down to me through my papa and that's one reason i'm wanting to preserve these stories and put them on YouTube to share them and that way we can go back and and look through the years and, and kind of reminisce um, uh, a short pencil is better than a long mind as I've been told so uh, the story today my papa talked very fondly of, of Jim Campbell his his papa uh, he said he was a outgoing man an entrepreneur like man uh, said he was always wanting to, to do good and always wanting to uh, be out uh, working and, and trying to better himself. Uh, he, uh, Papa told me he was a, a mild, meek man and said he chewed tobacco and said that he probably was the first one to give him a chew of tobacco, which is Walter Campbell. Uh, said he always kind of had it real wrapped up neat in a, a handkerchief or, or a poke sack. Uh, bag if you uh, don't know what a poke is but uh, he uh, he always was neat with his stuff and, and dressed uh, dressed fairly neat I guess is what he <clears throat> Papal said also uh, he said that uh, he worked uh, in the log woods up in the, in the north for a while and said he, he left here and went up into um uh, we're, we're assuming Wisconsin, Minnesota, that area. There was a big timber boom there in, the, in that area uh, around the turn of the century. But they said he went up there to work and um, said it seemed like he always had trouble. Said he went up there to work and, and said they was doing good, had a big logging camp. And one of his in-laws, and I don't know if that would have been the Youngs or if he was married a second time, I know, but said some of his in-laws kind of got... Uh, um, messed up and got in trouble and there was a fight coming along and i think there was either a knifing or a shooting and he had to come back to kentucky they had to leave out kind of quick i guess is what i've been told so that didn't work out for him and again i don't know uh, what what timeline that was um, but also i, I want to share that he um he worked, Jim Campbell at one time lived on what is now the, the David McGlone farm at Grayson and said he came down there. Tobacco was a, always a, a cash crop and um, he came down there, Jim Campbell came to Grayson sometime and farmed tobacco there on uh, what is now the David McGlone farm papa said that farm where they usually grow to where they said he probably grow to grow the tobacco at was right where the double a highway comes into grayson now somewhere in that vicinity so he took and 
was doing that. And back then, if you know anything about tobacco, they, they graded it in different grades. You have, uh, from the bottom of the stalk to the top, you had different lengths of leaves, different colors of leaves, different, uh, grades. And back then they had seven, six to seven grades. And so they, they come down there and had a big crew and they was farming a lot of tobacco and again his in-laws which i don't know who they are so i'm not judging anybody i'm just telling you the story as, as it was told to me um said that the some of the family wasn't doing very good and um said jim had to go back uh, go back through and kind of redo their what that person had done stripping the, the tobacco and he confronted him about it and said uh you know he said hey you know you uh you put a lot of long, long leaves in, in this short tips or whatever. And, uh, he said, uh, well, I must've forgot my rule today. <laughs> so, uh, he, uh, that didn't last very long either. So it, I presume he went back to, uh, Lawrence County at that time to, to live. And, but Papa was always fond of Jim Campbell and talked, uh, favorably of him and said he was a tried to be an entrepreneur and always uh the story kind of was told as a i don't want to say a fable but something along the lines of you know always watch who you're uh you know who you associate with because they can hurt you uh be, a, be associated with people that can help you and and build you up and and be for you is the kind of the the motto of the story or the the, the fable part of the, the end of the story so just wanted to share that a little bit with you about jim campbell um i'm still doing research and i'll continue to do research uh, i would like to find out some more on these girls um delilah lily um, campbell sayers and then there was Susie and martha so i really don't know um a lot of even Howard I don't know a lot now Johnny Campbell and Howard I mean Johnny Campbell and Thomas we we know some about but um would like to do some more research but I just wanted to share this story with you today and hope this uh maybe you can put this story back and and keep it in your memory banks and be able to uh, recall that and if you have comments if you're associated with the family uh tell us your story in the comments and be sure to like this video subscribe to my channel if you'd like further content i won't guarantee you it'll be campbell uh, or flannery but i'm as i come to it and how the good lord leads i just kind of go by my nose and let uh, let that happen what i what i share about so if you uh, have any questions any comments be sure to to like uh, like the video drop the comments down below and we thank you all for tuning in and God bless.